O di ba? Ang tagal. Ganun pa, gumaganong ganun pa, rumorolyo-rolyo pa siya. I-restart mo nga yung internet. Ayan, connecting pa rin. Ayaw mo umusad? Freeze yan? Ad executive by day, an internet star by night, McCoy Dubs is known across the Philippines for his humor. Creators like us, gusto namin magpasaya. Gusto namin mag- mag-entertain ng mga tao online. Magpalit na kayo ng internet provider! Hello everyone! He's after more views, more engagement, more fame. Yun lang, thank you! But all of that depends on whether McCoy's post reaches fans during social media's prime time, between 8 and 11 p.m. every night. So my video, 2 minutes and 18 seconds, then let's post. So, you see, <laughs> ang tagal, di ba? <laughs> ano, gusto mo gumanon tayo? Ganyan, oh. Strong internet connection is very important because I always follow the algorithm of, uh, of the social media platform. Oh, di ba? Ang tagal. Ganun pa, gumaganong ganun pa, rumorolyo-rolyo pa siya. Oh, you see? And if not, I won't be able to gain the the views, the engagement rate that I need to to ano to achieve. McCoy is not alone. He is one of millions of Filipinos frustrated with an internet infrastructure that's outdated, unreliable, and comically slow. Bulo kang inyong internet at signal. In a recent study of worldwide broadband, the Philippines ranked 100th out of 175 countries, with an average download speed of just under 33 megabits per second. For comparison, some of its neighbors at the top of the list, Singapore, Thailand, Hong Kong, all clock in at over 200, more than six times faster. One reason for the slow service? Geography. The Philippines is made up of thousands of islands, so getting connected to a wired network is tough. And while mobile should be a viable alternative, wireless relies on cell towers, which are so expensive to build that today there's only enough to serve 40% of the population, leaving everyone else searching for a signal. But there's another reason that when it comes to connectivity, Filipinos are stuck in the 90s. 1995, to be exact. While Match.com paved the way for online love in America, Filipinos were still using pages and landlines to communicate. So the president, Fidel Ramos, launched a policy to improve the country's telecommunication network. Problem was... Instead of investing in the emerging technology of the internet, the policy doubled down on tech that was about to be obsolete. A company applying for a telecom license had to promise to build an almost impossible to achieve 400,000 landlines. It eventually became a barrier to entry. It requires a company to be big enough at least to, to have the, not only the resources, but the temerity to actually go through that process. The policy made it difficult for any new company to enter the market. And that consolidated power into the hands of just a few telecom giants at a time when demand for connectivity was heating up. In the internet age, you need to have different you know, networks in many areas, and then they're interconnected to each other. Today, a duopoly controls the market. And that means the big companies have no incentive to make things better. The public's demand to improve their service is often unheard, a situation described by a lawmaker as an abuse. If your subscribers do not have any choice but to avail your services, you can thrive even if you don't improve your service or even if you don't spend too much on making more investment or expanding your network. When contacted for comment, 
Globe Telecom cited the lengthy permit process and bureaucratic red tape as the causes of slow internet service. They also claim to have invested 12 billion US dollars to improve its network and services. As of now, po mahina ang internet. Open yes, bar. Yes, po. 27-year-old Christian Riliera invested all his savings to start a business, a courier and delivery app that operates entirely online. Or at least, it's supposed to. Restart mo nga yung internet, yung ano, yung data mo. Our customers are booking online. So when they book online, even they don't ha- they do have internet in their area, we cannot receive it. So once we don't receive it, we cannot serve them. The customer will complain. We cannot even say that kasalanan po kasi ng telco provider namin or kasalanan po kasi ng internet connection namin. We deal with that. That's a big frustration. Pacheck nga ako. Pacheck ako kung may internet na ulit. Sabi po meron kasi. Refresh mo. Mag-Google ka. For Christian, patchy internet service can mean the loss of as much as 1,000 US dollars per week. That's a big money that we cannot lose. So, mga kailan kayo yung restoration period? Kasi hindi na naman namin maaantay ng sobrang tagal niyan. In what's become a daily occurrence, Christian follows up with his service provider. Di ba pwede naman siyang i-escalate? It's very difficult for them to be contacted, so I just uh, drop the call. A lot of business will experience this one, so not just only for our company. Unreliable internet does not only hurt the economy, With COVID-19 stay-at-home restrictions, it's also putting the future of the country at risk. Susanna's children and 24 million others are now learning online. Opo, eh, hindi na nga po kami nakakapagulay kasi nga, <laughs> wala na po ang pambili ng gulay kasi nga yung pambili namin ng gulay yun, napupunta minsan, ilulod mo na lang. Ishwa, Ishwa, eh. Uy, uy, isig na anak, hala. Tayo na, kayo may online class ka. Tayo na, tayo, kakain na. Tayo, tayo na. Hmm. Umayos ka ng upo, mag-pray ha, pagkain, umayos ka. Pinangako ko po talaga sa sarili ko na kahit anong mangyari, ayoko matulad ng anak ko sa akin, hindi nakapagtapos. Gusto ko po talaga, pangarap ko talaga na kahit mahirapan ako, ma- makapagtapos sila sa pag-aaral. Nani, pagpapanood ako. Sige po. One week po, yung one GB per day. Yung one, ano ba yung gusak to ba yun? Two US dollars can buy the family one week of data or two kilos of rice. Education wins over hunger in the Librea family. The problem is... Ayan mo, connecting pa rin. May mahirap nito eh. Lagi nagko-connecting Ito'y na naman eh. Ay, ito'y na mo mamaya. Pag dawawa lang ka ng internet, anong nararamdaman mo? Malungkot. Bakit ka nalulungkot? Kasi parang parang nang pagya ko na ito. Good afternoon, mga bata. Good afternoon po, ma'am. Kaming mahirap po, pinaghihirapan po namin ang aming internet. Kaya sana po, Maging sulit naman po yung paghihirap namin. Mahirap na nga kami, tapos wala pang internet, lalo na kami maghihirap. Teacher, wala pa nakasulat. So what is the solution to help society move forward? The number one solution is the government. They have the power, they have the, they have the authority to create new policy, new law for us to be able to have a good internet connection here in the Philippines. Ilan taon na ito? With the pandemic pushing Filipinos to the limit, President Duterte is responding to the outcry with a threat to the telcos. 
I might just as well close all of you. To make its services commercially available to the public by March 2021. Two months later, lawmakers allowed a new telco to build a network. The company is owned by the president's friend. But with an outdated policy intact, many say nothing will change. It's a no-brainer. Those who benefit from, from the status quo, the outdated policy, simply do not want them to change because it is what makes them thrive, I guess.